now the next thing is basically to display the original username that is the name of the user and the email of the user who is logged in and you already know that which information we get from the local phone storage and you already know this also that is that information which we get from the phone local storage we assign that to our current user instance that is we with the help of this we remember the already logged in user so that user information we can now access with the help of this current user instance which, which belongs to the current user class so for that purpose what we need to do is here we can say current user let's create an instance of the current user underscore current user equals to get dot put and we want to get the current user information so you can say current user so with the help of this instance we can access the information of the already logged in user so for that purpose come here and now we can pass the original name of already logged in user so we can say current user dot user dot username Cur underscore current user that is with the help of this instance we say current user dot user now what is this dot user this is basically this user okay to which we assign you can say our current user information and that current user information we get from the phone local storage which you can see here first we get the information from the phone local storage it is assigned to this and then we assign this get user info from local storage which contain the user information we assign this to the current user value okay that is it is assigned to this so that information basically it is assigned or you can say we can access it with the help of this user okay we can access that current user values or you can say current user information with the help of this user so what we did here is basically we create an instance of our current user in order to access the implementation of the current user class we create an instance of that class here so we say here that is underscore current user instance dot user dot user you know that which contain the user already logged in user information so we say underscore current user instance dot user dot and we access the username from it that is we get the username from it similarly in the same way here we will get the user email so we can say current user dot user dot user email so simple and so easy so now let's just restart the app and now let's just close the app from here first okay by clicking on this debugging and let's click on the play button to install the app completely on our phone so the app is running now and if we go to the profile then here you can see John was the online John is the online user okay who already logged in so that's why we see the John username and the John email okay username and user email